Melbourne folks. Nice to see you. I think this is my first video since um, since last year. So just a quick one really. First one, Happy New Year to all. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas, happy New Year, lovely New Year, etc, etc, etc. In case you're wondering, Christmas for me was lovely, New Year I was working, so New Year's on a night shift is always fun. Um, so, bees wise, quick update. Been down to the hive, hives look well. Hive 1, hive 2, both still alive. Hive 1, hive 2, food. So I've come down today just to chuck some fondant on for them, because um, well, I just want to keep the top sort of food really. Um, so they've got plenty of food, quite a lot of bees in there, so clustering well, just underneath the food, which is exactly what I should be doing it. Um, plans for the, the foreseeable weeks and months, it's, really, it's January 15th now, so plans for the next few months, we'll just be doing exactly what I'm doing, come down, pop down, make sure they've got food, have to them, leave them, go, basically. Um, <coughs> so that's the plan for the next couple of months. Um, season's going to really start kicking off again around March sort of time. Uh, planning on treating um, for mites uh, as we go into the spring, so a few weeks before the spring, um, so that uh, we can give them the best chance of getting in a really good flow, really good um, honey harvest this year. Um, splits wise, we are going to be doing a couple of splits this year. Splits will be done from Hive 1 and Hive 2 if they're both big enough, strong enough. Um, so remember last year we had four hives in the end after the uh, after the, the the issues with hive one putting up loads of queen cells. Um, unfortunately, hive two, hive three, and hive four died. Uh, I, just, I, I as I explained in a video last year, it was my fault, my bad. Hopefully, it won't happen again. Move my glasses up there. Um, so that's the plan. Splits. That's going to win. That's going to be. Aprilish, Mayish. I think I did them last year, but it'll be the same time as I split last year. I'll be doing it again this year, as long as they're both strong and healthy and you know good hives. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, keep plodding along, see how we go. Hopefully, we'll get a good harvest this year. Um, we've got good, good amount of coming in with the honey, good amount of coming in with the lip balms. They've been selling really well. Um, hopefully, got a, maybe a couple of people looking to sell them on our behalf as well, which is cool which is awesome. Um, recently had a, uh, a deal, I should say, going with the, uh, a place called the Rowdy Cow. Uh, that's nearby where I am. Not massive amounts of miles away, but nearish. Um, really good food, homemade, well, homemade ice cream, I suppose you could say that. Make ice cream on site. Really, really nice place. And they've been selling them on behalf, so which I'm incredibly grateful for. We are planning on changing the farm slightly, but um, that'll be a upcoming video in later days. Um, so yeah, as for now, it's just a case of keeping the bees ticking over. I'll bring you over, let you see the two hives, let you know that they are still here. There you go, hive one, hive two. Both of them seem to be doing well, both of them still alive, both of them still standing after Storm Brendan, or Barbara, or whatever we had recently. Um, so yeah, they're doing well. So, uh, so like I said, just a quick one. There will be no real updates. <coughs> Excuse me. There will be no real updates coming this way until you know until the season really kicks in. But um, like I said, I couldn't remember if I wished you all a happy new year. So maybe we'll have a great one. Uh, I'll touch base again soon. Hope all is well. You take care and uh, make sure your time. All the best.